Okay, welcome to Memorizing Chemistry. We're going to just go over inches to centimeters, millimeters, meters, and kilometers. And there's a little bit of confusion when you first go from the inches to the centimeters going into the metric system. And then within the metric system, especially with length, something like this, millimeters, meters, and kilometers all have a relationship that moves a decimal three ways, one way or the other. But the centimeter is a little bit of an oddball, and we want to make sure that we uh, understand what the confusion comes from. So let's do something that I intentionally made to come out to an even number. And I said calculate 100 inches to centimeters, then to millimeters, meters, and kilometers. Millimeters is 1,000th of a meter, and kilometers is 1,000 times a meter. But centimeter is we're going to have how many of these centimeters in a meter. So we have 100 centimeters in a meter and 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So that gets a little bit confusing. So the first thing to understand is millimeters, meters, and kilometers are what have the nice round uh, movement of three decimal places. But let's look at how the conversions go. So if you're going to use 100 inches, you multiply 100 inches times 1 per 2.54 centimeters. And when you have 100, what you're really doing is moving the decimal place over to the right, 1, 2, to get 254 centimeters. And I did the 0, 0, 0 on purpose to show you that when you're converting this 254 centimeters, we have 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters, and that's a little bit goofy, is that you're going to move it 1 to the right. Okay, so do you see what happened? When we multiply this by a 100, it went to the right two places, there are two zeros. When we multiply by 10 with one zero, it moved to the right one place. Okay, so 254 to 2540. Now when we're in millimeters, meters, and kilometers, this is really nice because we're always moving by three. So now 2540 millimeters, I could either do the math, 254 centimeters, okay, and then I know that there are 100 centimeters, so cent, just like 100 cents in a dollar, it's going to be one meter. When we divide by 100, we move the decimal two places to the left, okay, because we're dividing now by zero, zero. But you could have just said, oh, well, if we're going from millimeters to meters, that's just three places to the left, one, two, three, 2.54 meters. Same thing here, you could have just gone down and said, oh, well, we're moving from meters to kilometers, which is a larger number. So if we're going from a smaller unit of length to a larger unit of length, we just move to the left. And because it's meters to kilometers, we move to the left, one, two, three. And so we expect 0 0.00254. You can also do the math starting with the 254 centimeters, 100 centimeters and one meter, 1,000 meters and a kilometer to get the same answer but it's just a lot easier. You can see that we've just moved the decimal to the right one with this next problem, moved it to the left three, and then moved it to the left three again. So either way, uh, we'll get you the right answer. Uh, this dimensional analysis or factor label method will always work. Uh, and if you prefer that one, just to be comfortable, that works. But once you get to the decimals, it just moves a lot faster.